Hello everybody and welcome to another Kickstarter Journeys Tabletop Simulator game playthrough. Today we are playing Relics of Rajavahara. Let's look at the title here. Relics of Rajavahara. This is by Crazy Like a Box Games, designed by Joe Slack. And it's actually going to be coming to Kickstarter in July, so before you know it, it will be available. This is a solo puzzly style game where you're an adventure and thrill seeker Virginia Rivers discovering an ancient temple, trying to find gems and prevent, um, who is this guy? Professor Montalo, trying to stop him from getting the treasure before you are summoning the spirit of Rajavahara to take over the world. Now, I've played through this one other time, but I wanted to do it, uh, give you another playthrough just to show you how some of the other blocks work, and um, just give you one more concept look at this game, because it comes with all kinds of levels, and all kinds of blocks, and all kinds of challenges. So in this particular level, I have chosen this challenge card, challenge card number six, and my goal is to slow my nemesis, Professor Montalo, by dropping a block where he stands. And that might sound easy, but if you take a look at this, um, you know, there's blocks around them, but they might not be easy to access. So let's see what we can do about this. I am this adventurer here, and uh, really just want to figure out how I can manipulate my blocks um, to somehow get one to drop on top of him. And that's going to be tricky. I don't have any wood blocks. I cannot move green blocks. I can't even walk into fire blocks. So in this game, they're almost kind of like wood blocks, except you can't jump over them. And um, the ice blocks keep on sliding in the same direction that you push them in. So what can I do on a turn? Well, if you watch my other video, you know, but on my turn, I can jump up on a block. I can move over, I can jump down, I can push things from behind, but I cannot pull things. And that's about it. When I'm on top of another object, I could push something if it's next to me. And that's going to be kind of the secret to this level, is somehow getting a block in front of Professor Montalo to push it atop him and delay him from um, getting the treasure before me. So how am I going to do that? Well, I might have already played through this level to get an idea of what I should do. Uh, there were no cheats or secrets given to me, but I was able to figure out what I think is a solution. So uh, there's no limit to the number of turns, so you just keep playing until your mind gives out or you solve the challenge. And what you can do, again, uh, move in any direction, uh, up and down and around, provided you're allowed to. So I can, let's say I want to move here, I can go up by one level. I can't go up by two levels, but I can go up by one level. I can climb atop this stone. Then I can move over to this stone, and then I can jump down. And then I could push this block here over, and it would slide until it hits an obstacle because it's a piece of ice. So then what do I want to do with it? Well, maybe what I want to do is hop up here, hop down here, and give this ice block another push. So I give this a push and it will slide as far as it can go. Um, and because there's an obstacle there known as the professor, the block will stop. All right, but I can't do anything from there yet. I can't jump up here and jump onto Montella myself because I am not a block. So what else could I do? Well, I could dun, 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 push this block this way. And I could jump up here, jump down, and push this block to this corner here. All right. So now what can we do? Well, I can push this block here, and then walk around and push this block here. And then I could come over here, push this ice block this away, come here, push the ice block this away. Then I could walk over here and push this ice block this way, um, straighten it out there. I could jump up on this boulder, can't jump on the flame, jump on the boulder, jump behind, push this over here, go for a little walk. Montalo, stop. You cannot take my treasure. You cannot release the spirit. Push this ice block here. 
then jump down and around, jump up here, and say Montalo, this is it for today. And I push this block and it drops upon Montalo Meikle, and I cackle victoriously, or feel somewhat ashamed that I've destroyed a professor in my goal to prevent the release of the spirit. Anyway, that's just a quick solution to one of the many, 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 many challenges in Relics of Rajavahara. Uh, and this one does feature all kinds of different bricks or cubes. There's water and crates that you did not see in this game. Um, we just played with boulders, ice, and fire. And there's many challenges where you're actually going to be trying to acquire gems from hard to locate vicinities. Or you may be doing other things in the game. You may be pushing blocks around in certain sequ sequences or taking out Montalo. Um, there's lots of neat little challenges that the designer Joe Slack, Joe Slack put into this game. Uh, and Crazy Like a Box Games is got this well in development and playtesting and uh, it's really cool to see where they take this. I think it'll be a fun adventure challenge game for a single player or maybe um, a couple wants to work on it together as a fun activity. Instead of watching TV, you play a game of this together and help each other solve the many, many puzzles that are in here. This is also available on Tabletop Simulator, not the entire game, mind you. There's, um, I believe, 10 sample levels and 10 sample challenges or 8 sample challenges, and this is just one of the many, many sample challenges. So if you get a chance to, if you have Tabletop Simulator, take a look. You could explore some of these challenges and challenge your brain to figure those out. Or, when it's live on Kickstarter, have a look at it and give Joe and Crazy Like a Box Games a chance with Relics of Rajavahara.